Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our first contest of the evening is an amateur contest fought in the middleweight division under 84 kilos. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Dan Alamba. You allow them in case you come in and yeah. stand with them. And then I'll watch. Yeah, no worries. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fight UK 5 at the Amph Athena venue here at Leicester. And what a great action-packed card we have for you tonight. Starting right now with an amateur bout, Dan Lambert versus Jan Mui. You ready? Amateur bout in the middleweight division. It's Lambert in the plane to black shorts against Moyek and the black and white shorts there as both look to trade early. Some nice shots being thrown there by both guys. 
Moy flicking a few kicks out there. Lambert trying to use his jab. Those fighters leaning a little bit into those punches. Got to be careful. That's a big right over the top from Moyek. As he comes forward, and he's looking to land that right hand. It's everything in that right hand, Rob. That's right. Lambert needs to be careful. He's leaving those hands low, and the shots are finding a, a target over the top. A debut fire, Rob. And Dan Lambert has got to be careful. The nerves don't play a part of it. And I think he's caught there with the left hand. I think he's caught there above the left eye. We're starting to put more behind those shots now. Sensing the danger. Lambert. Still coming forward, still looks in good good shape, Ben, still looking to move. That was a good shot from Moyek. Moyek's caught his man a few times with that right hand. Go to the clinch. <laughs> this could be dangerous if Moyek's able to get Lambert's head down, change his position. Both guys grappling. Both throwing good punches to start with, but for me, Moyek showing the, the wider depth of strikes, if you like, Rob. He's mixing up with the leg kicks, and now he's looking to tie his man up from the clinch. That's right, he was able to find a lot of success with those shots over the top. Don't hold the cage. With the left hand and the right hand. Numbers are here at Fight UK. About the amateur bouts that are held are under the Nevada State Athletic Commission amateur rules, which is three three minute rounds with the eight ounce gloves, so the larger gloves okay, right. with ground and pound on the floor. Listen to me. Don't hold the cage, okay? Free Mark Water just having a bit weird and Lambert there telling him not to hold the cage as Moya comes in. He's going to be looking for more success over the top. Lambert lands comfortably there. Both guys comfortable to sit in the pocket, throwing shots. Good combination from Lambert there. And now that I'm known about Moyek, Rob, he's an independent fighter, and from Lambert's point of view, it would have been very hard for him to scout his opponent, obviously. Good knee to the body there. Lambert possibly looking to... Fire some shots on the inside, get a dirty boxing. As I said, that he does so with an uppercut. Moik does well to fire one off off the break. This is a very evenly close matchup for this for me, Rob. Both fighters look at a similar level standing off. And Lambert coming forward now. That's right, both guys landing shots. Both happy to keep it upright as Lambert finds success with a huge right hand. Lambert with that hook nicely. Moik's looking to stick with that jab, but he's really getting overwhelmed here. Lambert almost smells blood, and we've got the last 10 seconds, and that's some nice knees from the clinch. Table's turn, Lambert looking to possibly go for the takedown now. He's caught the pace, doesn't quite get the time for it. What an exciting first round, Ben. An action-packed first round. I think Lambert, in a lot of ways, for me, Rob, almost, in a funny kind of way, almost needed that punch to almost wake him up, make him, make him realise that he was kind of there in a fight. I think once he got hit with that shot, he got cut. Then he seemed to turn the aggression on, and he seemed to move forward and make his man think. Landed some good, crisp punches, but might look dangerous for me. A nice overhand right, as well as a few other good shots. That's right, You can't do that, all right, at all. Clean it up now. Referee Mark Water just having a word. I think Moyek's corner just applied a bit of water on him there and there. Uh, Mark Woodard and a representative from the commission just saying that he needs to be wiped down to make sure that he's not greasy when he goes in there. That's right, giving him an advantage over his opponent. His corner man just drying him down quickly. Mark Woodard saying to the commission that if that happens again, that'll be a point deduction. Obviously, he's made him clear that those are the rules. You ready? Are you ready? It's fine. Lambert will be one of the look to build on that success he had at the end of the, uh, the end of the first round. Interesting for me, Rob, his corner seemed to say about getting the takedown if he could. And as I say that, he locks the body lock up, and now he's got the mount position. Beautifully into mount position. But he's tapped. Away, tapped straight away. Possibly unfamiliar ground. He seems to have a problem with his, his right knee. I think he seems to be holding the leg a little bit. There could be an injury there. He did seem to tap awfully quickly from that. And I think realistically, the, the shots that came in didn't seem to be that tremendous. Just wait there. He's his knee. I think referee Mark Woodard indicating that it was, it's an injury to the knee. Of round number two, your winner due to tap out by 
like Roman Powell from the Blue Corner, Dan Pagano. And let's hear it from Mary Kellen Connor.